Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we will learn about making blocks, block adjustment, block editing, stretching, scaling, and work in layers. And then finally, how to plot a plan in PDF. Okay, let's start. For making block, we will use different tools. Let's make a block of bed. For that, I will draw a line of width 6 feet and length of 7 feet. Now here we have a rectangle. Now I will make a side table by using rectangle tool. I will put a dimension of 2 feet and 18 inch. Then set it in a place. Then we use a copy tool to make a copy of side table. Then again use a rectangle tool to make a pillows. Then we do the placement by using move tool. And again make a copy. For this now I draw a line for a blanket okay now here we have a drawing of bed now to make a block we will go to block tool which is over here or use a command B now we will select the drawing of bed and click on block tool and a new window will appear like this in first we will suggest a name for our block let's say bed then choose a pick point you can pick any point from where you can pick your block or move without using move tool then we have other settings which you can set if you want you can also write a description of your block in this box Then press OK. If you have already a block with same name, you can redefine it. Now, your block making is done. Now, if you click at any point of this bed, it will select all the block. Now, here we have a pick point. You can pick block from here and move. Or also, you can make copies of bed. Now, if you want to edit your block, go to block. And by right clicking on your mouse and click on block editor, then your window will look like this. Now, you can click on any line. It will select individually. Let's edit our block by using tools. Let's make an offset of 4 inch again, again. And hash the rest of the block. Let's change the size. Now you can see it will look nice. When you are done with editing, click on close block editor and save the changes. Now you can see our block and all of its copies are changed with new changes. Okay. The next step is to adjust a block in a plan. It's very simple. You have to select a block and Pick it and place it at your desired place. Now for this room, let's say we need a bed against this wall. So I will place a bed over here and adjust the set and adjust the placement. This is how you set your block. Now let's say we need a bed against this wall. We will select the bed and rotate it on in our desired side. 
now place against the wall you can also use move tool for moving the block this is how you set your block now we will learn about stretch tool as you see we have this small room which we want to expand from 10 feet to 12 feet for that we will use stretch tool or a command s and after selecting the stretch tool then select the all the lines or points which we want to expand then press enter and then select a point and drag you can select the point from where you want to drag and then add the remaining dimension which is 2 feet and then press enter now here we have a room of 12 feet you can see the plan is stretched only from the selected area the rooms are same okay now if you want to change the overall size of your block or any drawing you can use scale tool let's see a size of bed which is 7 feet but we want to change the length for that click on scale tool and select the point now you can see the block size is changed but you don't know the exact place for 5 feet so for that we will click on a reference and enter the dimension of 5 feet but still don't know where exactly 5 feet is let's click here and check the dimension it's 4 feet 9 inch now ex now for exact 5 feet let's draw a line of 5 feet from same line where the bed is and again repeat the process of scale and now after reference we will set our bed on this point where the line of 5 feet ends now here we have a bed of 5 feet delete the line now we will move on to layers as you see we have a pen in one layer let's create a different layers by using layer properties When you click on it a new window will appear like this we can work in layers okay you can make a new layer from here by clicking on it a new a new layer will create it let's make a new layer and give a name of dimensions and then select at the color let's say green then again create a layer for doors and same select a color then a layer for hedge and then a different layer for blocks now you see all layers are on and unlocked and have different colors and you can also select line type okay after making layers close the window now you can see we still have same plan select the blocks and then click on layer of blocks the selected blocks are moved in block layer which have created now so same with rest of layers like hedge in hedge layer now you see i haven't deselected the bed so they change their layer again let's change it again in their own layer now same with dimension layer select all the dimensions and click after selecting dimensions just simple go to layers and click on dimension layer now the last one same with doors select all the doors 
all lines on door layer now here our plan divided into different layers okay okay now move to last step plot a plan in pdf for that we will have to simple press control plus p now a new window will appear like this first if you have already previous setting set you can use that from here and if you not then you can set then set the plotter we have different inbuilt formats we want to make a pdf so we will select dwg to pdf then select a page we also have different page sizes and name available we will go for a4 size let's search the a4 and select a4 page after clicking we will select plot area we have different option if we select a display a whole thing which are present in our display will be make a pdf of that all the things in display are created in pdf but if we want a selected area to be converted into a pdf so we will go in window then select a window and cover all the data you need in pdf we have empty space over here which you can set from here like portrait landscape which we will set later okay now here we have different settings of colors if you want a monochrome you can select a monochrome all all your plan convert into a monochrome in single black color and then you can also set a portrait for your plan if you select none then again your plan convert in different colors now again set a different window now you can see we don't have a proper pdf the pdf is in portrait and drawing is in landscape so we will select landscape now you see it's fine okay after all of your setting click on okay and give a name to your pdf and save it now now you have your pdf like this so we have reached the end of this tutorial now you have to practice what you got from here but of course there is a lot more to learn in autocad thank you so much for watching